What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the uh, French campaign here. Here's the battle we're about to start. So I'll see you on the battle map. Welcome back. Okay. So as you can see in the distance, a horde of Indians. I'm actually pretty intimidated by this uh, giant force. So we do have some bowmen for support. I'm thinking I might dismount my Colonial Dragoons and have them start firing. They do have ammunition. It's not telling you their range and accuracy until they're dismounted. Do have some Native American. Most of these are armed tribesmen though. who are basically peasants who are out. Um, it's kind of intimidating. Where they do have some musket men. So the good news is this little, uh, well, that's a little bit of a dip. Doesn't allow their cavalry really to maneuver. The important thing is to keep our um, our generals safe. These guys are actually hidden, which is pretty sick. Okay, it looks like some musket men are coming into view. Hello. Square. Square again to square, boys. No. Oh, crud. Okay, we're going to have to move these guys on this side. It's not good that they're Lancers. Uh. Oh. And right here. Okay, the Native American bows are going. Now their lancers are going to withdraw after they've done that damage. We're coming after you. Right in the rear, too. Basically, just going to let these guys semi-run amok. Oh, that's medicine men. That's not good. Wow, holy crud. See how many... Shoot at the medicine men, boys. Shoot. Okay, I'm about... Let's get rid of these arms tribesmen crud. Let's route these guys off the field. I need to get my uh, soldiers not killed off here. Come on, freaking route. I'm going to charge the back of all these armed tribesmen. Good, my lancers just... Oh, nice, it started raining. What powder makes misfires a certainty? Okay, they've literally... Come on! I'm hoping for this the break we need. Wow, that was really effective chain route. Well, that should shatter a ton of them. Wow, look at that. I think they routed some of my center, actually. These medicine man, they're scary when they get in melee with your troops. You should not seek melee, however, with them. Okay, most of their forces routed right now. Just their best part of their forces, um. They're not in melee. Where are my colonial dragoons going? Hunt down these medicine men. 
Actually, let's charge these guys because... Man, my Dragoons doing that rear strike completely saved this expedition. These are just musket men, so... They should route pretty easily. And they're, uh... Generals out here getting shot by my French troops. Look at my center. So many Indians. <laughs> Who's running out here? Get back, Bowman. I know you're brave. You think you're brave, but you're not that brave. Okay. And there goes their general. So that was a pretty close battle, I would say. There's a ton of armed tribesmen who are melee troops who are right in front of all my troops. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map with the results. And here are the battle results. They lost their whole force. I lost about 400 soldiers. Yeah, Inuit territory should be ours. Looks like the Palpal states. Ah, uh, the Italian states are uh, in my college. Lyon. What do we want to build in Lyon? Could build a second school. Yeah, people seem pretty happy. I mean, it doesn't really seem to, we don't want a church school, we already got a, somewhere, that's our church school, in Dijon, don't really need any of these other things, let's build a second school, look at all this building works, oh good, workers are riding in Corsica. We're going to put these soldiers here. No. Land. Land the soldiers. Oh, great. These guys are going to riot. All because my stupid captain can't navigate calm waters. Okay, these guys are almost done. I think we should go attack the Italian states and just wipe them off. Europe and then not really have to worry. What are our objectives again? We need to hold mass things in America. We've already held all the uh, Pennsylvania, Cherokee territory. Oh gosh, we gotta do all this invasion stuff in America. I need to wipe England off the, uh, the map. I need to wipe Italy off the map also. Let's go attack them right now. We got some decent troops. Okay, let's go back to America. The American theater. Go conquer this. The chief died. Bravely, we took them over, destroyed their building. And we capped us. Our goal is to transform this and then get this army back to uh, Quebec to defend from the uh, British and the... And the Quebec area. I don't have anything. I'm kind of out of money. I'm losing income. Might be worth our while to train some uh, trade ships. Get some extra income. But that's after we take out the largest naval power in the world. So we just get rid of the Italian states and Great Britain. We should be set. And I believe... Um, this guy's army is marching up. Let's just throw these guys off the... Uh, Get off my dock. My question is, is... Oh, uh, we, we need more commercial. Increase the, uh... 
the trade. Yeah, I really need that division of labor. We'll work on that next. But it'd be nice if we had some more gentlemen. Yeah, okay. Let's try. Do we want to... Trade agreement? Persia doesn't want to trade. How about Portugal? Why does no one... Planes? I don't know why they're... They're friendly. Oh, we had a historical friendship with the Plains Nations. Oh, this is annoying. No one wants to freaking trade. I'll take a military alliance. Okay, we got some more trade. Venice. That'd be nice. Nope. That should bump up. Ooh, that actually bumped it up a lot. Sweet. Le serviteur de Dieu. <laughs> he speaks French. Okay. Well, should we end a turn? That would be a yes. Okay, so I'm not quite sure to what to attack. I think this army needs to get its, you know, rear ends out of there as quickly as we can. And then sail down and attack Maine. And then hold that area off. And then Montreal can hold itself off with some troops I'll train. Okay, let's end another turn. And the question is, what will Great Britain do with this attack? You will give me money. And we have a trade agreement. Okay, that works. I'm going to wipe them out eventually, but uh, <laughs> not today. So we'll uh, build um, governor's thing there in the Indian Territory. And that should slowly get them off animalism. That, uh, that Indian religion there. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't want to fight you. Are you really going to pursue us all the way down there? Whatever, we killed two of their ships. Oh, another battle. I'll see you there. This army is quite a little bit of experience fighting those uh, Genoese Genoese uh, troops. This is a very rocky place for a battlefield. The question is, where are the reinforcements coming in? But look, we've got double chevrons on a lot of these units. This is our first two regiments of line infantry recruited, or had, in the uh, French arsenal here. French troops look so nice in this game. However, white was probably not the smartest idea for camouflage. Then again, the British wore uh, red coats. If we can shoot these guys head on, I think we can kill them. But they do have a... Uh, oh, that's that horse artillery. They do have some uh, decent units. So we need to be aware of that. Stretch out our line. Also need to use our uh, lancers a little bit more effectively. Effective? Yeah, a little bit more effective. Effectively? I don't know. Oh, hello, reinforcements. I think the lancers would be able to kill the reinforcements. Oh, nice. They're going to surround me. Oh, we'll get rid of this force quick. Yeah, it's going to take them a little while to get up here. We'll just disperse. We'll get rid of these uh, troops pretty quickly. It's not a very clear angle, actually, for your shots. Stupid hill. This is, however, not a hill. We're actually shooting them.
I can easily turn around these two units because I mean we've just gotta. Wow, this cavalry have some you know what's. Okay, we're gonna charge them from the rear with our lancers. Yeah, the point is just to keep our soldiers firing. Ready for this mass route? I like this color actually on them. The orange uniforms look pretty nice. Yeah, that's how you use your lancers effectively. We just basically shattered this whole army. This isn't turning to be much of a battle after all. Oh! Hello, enemy! <laughs> Holy crud, okay. Reform, reform. That's the real units. Okay. I'm gonna bring some more units over. My cab can just have a field day with them, I don't mind. Where was that uh, line infantry unit? Just a bunch of flintlocks. Yeah, I'm finding not forming squares with just little cab gets them killed off more quickly. These are legit line troops. Okay, we'll bring these guys here. Stretch the line. Then we've got a unit of reserve. Oh, hello man who stopped routing. Thought most of these guys were shattered. <laughs> Die, orange drummer boy. <laughs> I don't know any... I wonder what country actually wears orange for standard uniforms. I mean, I know the French weren't the smartest wearing white. Okay, we'll weave around the mountain here. Or no, we won't actually. We'll come back here. These guys are in the woods. They do have a little bit of an advantage. But we've got the uh, flanking fire. Or do we? Yeah, we do. We'll leave those guys there. These guys are being shot on three different sides, so they should be going down in number pretty quick. Look at these nice, got the drummer boys sitting there drumming, we got the officer, the flag bearer. Very nice indeed. That was supposed to be our, uh, our base, so we should be taking over Rome and then their ships won't be bothering us anymore. This guy's actually got shot pretty bad. I have more line infantry coming onto the field. My lancers are winded, so I'm just walking them. Okay, let's throw in this fresh unit here. And, um... Move the 5th Regiment way down here. Can now move up our lines. We want to take advantage of the woods here because when your men are in the woods, they get cover fire. No, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, I'll end the part as soon as this battle's over. Okay, the Lancers are going to continue to walk. I don't know what these guys think they're doing, but they're going to wheel up and we're going to shoot these guys because we've got a ton of more men than they do. Interesting. Do we have any other line units? Yeah, we got the 6th Regiment here. Let's block this pass like at Thermopylae. Thermopylae, Thermopylae, whatever you want to call it. So all our units are in a position here. Open fire! Do you know how long it was to reload one of these rifles? Like 20, 30 seconds. 
Oh nice guys, you're shooting into a rock. Okay, less of these guys are shooting, but... Wow, more line are still coming onto the field. I'm wondering when to activate my cav. I'm just resting them right now. Might be a good time to... Charge my cav in from this side. It's kind of an interesting area where the reinforcements have come in. Are you guys shooting? Stop reloading. Start firing. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Just standing there not facing the enemy? My lances are hidden in the woods. Okay, I'm thinking we might want to do a downhill charge. Yeah, we'll do that. So these guys are fresh now because I walked them and didn't run them. do a downhill charge into the regiments. Gosh, that's how you use your cavalry effective in this game. I don't think I was using it at the key points. Now let me withdraw my cab now. So these guys, you know, they're pretty effective at blocking the pass. It's going to be an interesting fight. I might have my cab charge in. Now there's just one unit and they're actually holding their own against my guys. I'm going to use the outflanking method of my soldiers here. So the maximum number of guys shooting at them. I'm actually taking these guys down. Okay, they're at 90 men. Might be worth a cycle charge in. The woods are screening them, that's the problem. Okay, let's knock them off this map, because right there's the, uh, the borderline. Okay, we'll take these guys off fire at will, and these guys also. And that should route them off the field to battle. Okay, let's withdraw the Lancers back up here and do a frontal charge. Okay, so this battle should be just about over. We have these guys uh, charging in with their bayonets. Look at the slow motion charge. Ah, yeah, these guys are in trouble. that charge is actually going to kill them. Wrap them. That did. Shattered them too. Oh, look at that brutalness. Okay, another units. In the next part, we'll have the results screen. This is Carl 221 signing off. Hope you enjoyed.